Good morning. This is Open Snow Meteorologist Alan Smith with your mountain weather forecast for Thursday, July 24th, 2025. A break in the monsoon is set to occur over the southwest and the Rockies, heading into the weekend of July 26th and 27th. An unusually deep trough of low pressure for July has been in place along the west coast this week, resulting in cooler than normal temperatures in California. As this trough pushes east into California, west to southwest winds at the base of the trough will transport dry air into the southwest. We have already seen this drier air in place over Arizona and Utah in recent days, while the dry air will also reach Colorado and New Mexico over the weekend, leading to a substantial reduction in thunderstorm chances. If we put our precipitable water anomaly map in motion, which is a measure of water vapor in the atmosphere, you could see how the dry air spreads across the southwest between Thursday, July 24th and Sunday, July 27th, as most of this region will see moisture levels of less than 50% of normal. On Thursday, monsoonal moisture will remain in place over Colorado and New Mexico for one more day, with a focus along a cold front boundary near the Continental Divide. Scattered and numerous thunderstorms could be expected in this region, with locally heavy rain possible. There is also some risk for flash flooding and burn scars and steep canyons with poor drainage. Forecast radar projects storms to develop over the higher elevations by midday to early afternoon, before intensifying and gradually spreading eastward into the I-25 corridor and adjacent plains, heading into the late afternoon and evening hours. Ahead of the low pressure area just off the coast of California, increasing Pacific moisture will lead to scattered terrain driven thunderstorms across Northern California on Thursday. There will be both a risk for lightning triggered wildfires due to dry fuels in the area, while flash flooding is also possible over burn scars from recent years. To the east, isolated to scattered thunderstorms with light to moderate rain can be expected over Northern Utah, Southern Idaho, and most of Wyoming. Friday's pattern will feature decreasing moisture over the southwest, while a low pressure area moving into northern California will result in another active thunderstorm day. Once again, this area will see a mix of wet and dry thunderstorms, with the risk of both wildfires and burn scar flooding. Forecast radar projects storms to develop around Tahoe initially by early to mid-afternoon, with coverage then increasing across northern California and Nevada and southern Oregon, heading into the late afternoon and evening hours. There is also a chance of some late night thunderstorm activity over the central and northern Sierra. Elsewhere, isolated to scattered thunderstorms could be expected over portions of the northern Rockies and in Colorado and New Mexico on Friday, with storms producing light to moderate rain. On Saturday, abnormally dry air over Arizona and Utah will spread eastward into Colorado and New Mexico as the monsoon shuts down almost entirely for the weekend. Precipitable water values will be less than 50% of normal for late July across most of the Four Corners states. To the north, lingering Pacific moisture will result in isolated to scattered thunderstorms from northern California to the northern Rockies, with most storms producing light to moderate rain. There is still a chance of a few isolated thunderstorms developing over the higher peaks of Colorado and New Mexico, but it will be a less active day than usual for this time of year. Further drying is expected across Colorado on Sunday, and it's possible that the high country could end up with a rare storm-free day, though a few models are hinting at isolated potential over the mountains of northern Colorado and perhaps far southern Colorado. A little bit of monsoonal moisture may also sneak into New Mexico from the south, with isolated thunderstorms possible. Elsewhere, isolated to scattered thunderstorms can once again be expected from the Sierra and northern California into the northern Rockies. On Monday, monsoonal moisture will begin to stream back into New Mexico from the southeast, with a return to more numerous thunderstorms, including heavy rain potential. Some of this moisture could sneak into Colorado as well, for at least some isolated thunderstorm potential. To the north, lingering Pacific moisture and shortwave energy associated with the stubborn west coast trough will lead to another day with isolated to scattered thunderstorms, most of which will produce light to moderate rain. Next week, Pat Next week's pattern is looking more active as anticyclonic or clockwise winds around the developing high pressure area over the high plains will transport deeper monsoonal moisture back into New Mexico and Colorado, and to some extent, Utah, Arizona, and Wyoming. 
This southerly flow over southern and central Rockies will be aided by a trough along the west coast. Meanwhile, a series of Pacific disturbances are projected to track across the Cascades and northern Rockies, resulting in chances for showers and thunderstorms. If we put our precipitable water anomaly map in motion, we could see above average moisture levels returning to New Mexico, Colorado, and Wyoming during this period, with higher moisture levels eventually spreading into Arizona and Utah during the first couple of days of August. Moisture levels will also be above normal across the interior northwest and northern Rockies. From August 3rd through 7th, which is 10 to 15 days out, the high pressure area is projected to shift southward a bit, with the monsoonal flow favoring the Four Corners region. The wettest signals continue to show up over New Mexico and Colorado, but Arizona and Utah will be in play for better moisture transport in this pattern as well. A trough dominant pattern will remain over the northwest and west coast, with the potential for ad additional disturbances to track across the Cascades and northern Rockies. This will continue to support frequent shower and thunderstorm chances across these regions. Overall, the monsoon has been relatively weak and inconsistent for most of July. Frequent and progressive troughing over the west coast and northern Rockies have played a role in suppressing monsoonal moisture too far south at times. Cooler than normal ocean temperatures along the west coast may continue to support west coast troughing, but if the, if the trough pattern remains centered far enough west, this can help to enhance moisture transport from the southwest while more progressive troughs can scour moisture out or keep moisture confined to areas further east, such as New Mexico and Colorado. Two factors that could potentially support a more active and consistent monsoon in August include warmer than normal ocean temperatures in the Gulf of California, which can favor monsoon moisture surges into Arizona and Utah. Also, an increase in Pacific tropical activity is projected heading into early August. Tropical systems that track close enough to the west coast of Mexico can also enhance the monsoon. So this gives us a few things to keep an eye on heading into early August. For more detailed information for your local area or outdoor destination, be sure to download the Open Snow app where you can view hourly forecasts out to 10 days for any location and elevation in the world, along with numerous high resolution weather maps, including maps for lightning risk, hail size, current and forecast radar, wildfire smoke, and air quality. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more weather videos, including mountain weather forecast, severe weather forecast, powder forecast, and more.